Hello and welcome, Neil Ellis here from Tax TV. Uh, just want to do a, a short video, some uh, mentions to people what I saw open day yesterday. Uh, so yeah, um, club put on an open day, some matches with under 18s. Unfortunately, the ladies, uh, Bounds FC ladies, the opponents didn't turn up, so it was a training session and everything like that. Uh, and followed off at end of the day with um, a game against Premier League side Nottingham Forest. Um, great to see people, great to see people uh, face to face. Uh, also got some photos. Just want to give a shout out to Andy Clark, Lewis uh, from Bounds FC Football Club, who uh, welcomed us and, and made us feel welcome, to be fair. Uh, Chris Ruddy, um, I know he had a, a busy long day on podcast, uh, which I'm on, so he was doing things for Bounds, the uh, official Bounds Football Club podcast. Kyojo Adjaye interviewing fans at Open Day. Uh, the Brew Dog, uh, Offensive Brew Dog, um, free beers, uh, which it was, it was, it was required because uh, it was a warm day. Great to see uh, Kez and Neil on Bounds FC uh, Open Day and Tax TV subscribers or friends as I call them. Uh, Gaz, who were doing Stall with Prince, uh, with Neil as well. He was doing uh, some fantastic uh, artwork, design work on there. People were, you know, Ian Jackson uh, came up and chatted to us. Dale, I saw Dale and we're at a game with Dale as well. Uh, you know, I'm just trying to think. I'm, I don't want to miss anybody out. Uh, Balanceye.com. Um, saw him at game and after game as well. Uh, great to see you in, you know, Face to face kind of thing. It's always great to see people in person. With that much going off, um, you know, James Norwood got with Dave Cooper on, on stage. He, he, you know, he got introduced, got announced to uh, fans what were there. And also later on, we saw the what the kit's going to look like. Um, bit of a mixed reaction to it. I, I kind of like it. Um, it's like a retro top kind of style, 60s, 70s, with, uh, you know, the, the neckline, the ribbed neckline, I was looking at it like nah, here. Uh, for me, I like it. I know there's no sponsor on at the minute, but I think that takes it back even more so with like retro kind of look where I'm familiar to. Some people say it looks like a training top and stuff like that, where there's, um, I'm just looking with, uh, with yeah, there's a sponsor in it, but there's uh, parliament sponsors on the back, um, and stuff like that. But again, it's east of your own. It's, it's got that rib necked collar, which which I, I kind of like. It's that retro kind of feel to it. But it's all about opinions. Um, again, the club will probably get a sponsor on. So probably a few more people will be, you know, wanting to get, get the shirt. But I, I like it. Uh, be interested to see what the away kit's going to be like. Uh, the colour and style kind of thing, or the fur kit as well. Um, but yeah, uh, Open Day just. Like honourable mention to them people, what I you know took the time out, come up and talk to us and chat to us. Um, it really is appreciated. Great feedback as well. Uh, took it on board what you said, um, and it's just it's just like I said, it's just great to meet people face to face. We're we'll taking photo. Can you know? Can I take a photo on you? And, and can I talk? To, and you know, we just chatted and we're about variety of stuff. All football, you know, our positive things are um, what. You know, kind of situation clubs in a minute. You know, we can see the, the slow but sure. You know, forward, forward, forward progression that we're making. And I think at the end of the day when we play Notts Forest, I think we hold the zone. To be fair, against Premier, going to be a fair few changes and stuff like that. But Luke Connell, Robbie Cundy. I mean. I'm not just singling them out, but I've got to in a way because I think Luke Connell. I've talked, I've chatted to him a couple of times right now, and I think he's going to be a great right player. I'm saying uh, some of the passes, some of the little tricks, moments. Uh, Connor McCarthy look uh, fairly solid at back as well. You know, Robbie Cundy, the, the, the new arrivals what came into the side. The you know the look structured. Michael Duff on the sidelines as well. Well drilled. Well, I old sent to have more of a structure and a shape uh, to to uh, side the eye line, the offsides, uh, it, yeah, and to 
obviously still a, a few weeks off, but another good test coming up against uh, Sheffield United. That's going to be another good test again. But for me, I think my idol is going to be uh, Luke O'Connell. Obviously, with shape number as well. But yeah, great run out. I think it was a great day as well. Uh, weather helped. And people uh, had an ice cream or a drink. Oh, you enjoyed your sins. So, yeah, we move on. Uh, Sheffield United coming up for the next pre-season. And then, uh, that's at home, sorry. I don't get town, it's obviously away. But it's next in this final pre-season, Sheffield United. Then we've got Plymouth Argyle. So, for them people what did, you know, go to open day, please like, subscribe and share. Leave your comments if, you know, if I chatted to you or you saw me. You know, uh, I'm a bold lover, really, to be fair, that uh, he came up and chatted. And, you know, like I said, it's always nice to put a name to a face. You always see comments and people contribute to your channel. So, yeah, appreciate it. Have a good rest of your weekend. One thing left to say, you Reds. Thank <music> you.